In today's morning rounds, a new study looks at mice. When they're infected with a common parasite, they lose their innate fear of cats. Even when the infection is cured, the mice remains unafraid. That finding can help us understand how disease changes the human brain. Dr. David Agus is a CBS This Morning contributor and professor of medicine at the University of Southern California. Good morning, and tell us about the study. Uh, good morning, Charlie and Nora. It's a very important study. Um, the study noticed that when mice got a certain infection, they weren't afraid of a cat. They would walk up and get eaten by a cat. And we thought it was inflammation in the brain. And this group at Berkeley then showed that if the infection went away and there was no inflammation, it retained that ability, the non-fear of the cat. And it's important, because what it's telling us is that an infection can change the hardwiring of the brain. And that is an important observation. And go ahead. Oh, this is incredible because this bacteria, Toxoplasma, is the one that pregnant women are warned why they shouldn't touch kitty litter. And yet you're saying that what this study found is that there are permanent effects to the brain that could tell us about disease, right? Well, yeah, I mean, a third of people in the world are infected with toxoplasmosis. And so we have to take a step back here. If this can change a mice and its hardwiring, it can affect us. And so we always hear, well, John was diagnosed with cancer or Jane got this horrible infection and they changed. Their personality changed. Well, all of a sudden we start to have an explanation. It, it's a reality, is it not, that a lot of the things that we're learning about the brain come from either accidents to the brain or disease and how it changes the brain. Yeah, I mean, I, listen, it's very important. This is why our president, President Obama, announced a $100 million initiative to start the map the brain. This is the next frontier. We need to start to understand it and take it head on. And we also need to focus on things like infectious disease and vaccines because it really does affect all of us. And there are associations, and remember, it's not causality, but there are associations of people with toxoplasmosis and particular psychiatric disorders. And people more likely to die in a car accident have this infection. These are important observations. And what does it mean for humans and how long will we understand that? Well, I think what it means now is that we got to pay attention and we got to start to understand the mechanism in humans. In mice, we got very lucky. There was one particular trait that we could observe and we saw how it changed. Humans are very complex. So everything we get, whether it be an infection or a disease, affects not just the organ that it's around, but it affects the whole body. It affects all of us. And we need to start to understand that and put that in a way that we can control it going forward. So, Doctor, just to say that, do you believe then that some of these bacterial infections or viral infections are connected to psychiatric disorders like schizophrenia and other things? I think there's very good data that they may be associated. And I think the next challenge is really understanding the brain better so we can see how they're associated because they're probably not in everybody. And we can actually, over time, hit the root cause of these disorders. Fascinating. Dr. David Agus, great to see you. Thank you so much.